two minutes each to say something about the next issue that we have as a preliminary issue before we move on, about the call from um, the residents and the police, <coughs> the police uh, coalition. As you are aware, a 22-year-old uh, man <coughs> was, was um, I can't say attacked, <laughs> was accosted by the police. The residents claim that they <coughs> used their tasers on him a number of times. They used the back of the gun, you know, to hit him a number of times because they perceived him to be, they suspected him to be one of two guys who were running away. They were chasing. And he had just come out of a, a public convenience place. And they thought he was the one. And so they, they picked him up and dealt with him in the manner that the residents suggest. And he died. He fell unconscious. They took him to the Menshia Hospital. And he eventually died there. Now, there's been an autopsy that gives a completely a different picture that suggests that he, he didn't die out of assault or anything of the nature. Now, the, the people at Menshia are very con concerned. As we understand, the police commander in Ashanti region has had to come out and warn that if anybody disturbed the peace, they will meet them with a lot of force. They will stop them. Um, so now it's a fight between the police and the, the, the residents. And it does look like the residents are bent on, on getting answers beyond what they've been told by the autopsy. <coughs> Kuku, what do you say? Menshia is concerned, and it says there should be some investigation. This should not be allowed to, 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 to pass. Yeah. This is some very interesting situation. See, in terms of the autopsy report, that's medical science. Mm. It's right. medicine. Mm. If we believe in the integrity of our medical authorities, uh, they say the gentleman died Naturally, natural causes. It, it could be true, based on medicine, on science, on the medical examination. But eyewitnesses also saw the gentleman being brutalized by the police before he fell unconscious and then went to the hospital where he died. Am I right? Yes. Huh. I haven't seen the report, so I don't know. And I'm not a doctor too, so I, I don't really understand how they put things. But I'll, I'll be surprised if the report does not indicate any sign of bodily harm or anything. It's possible that a gentleman died through the heart attack, cardiac arrest, or whatever it is. That's natural. But it's also possible that circumstances triggered something. Okay. And for the people out there in the streets, driven by emotions, anger, sentiments, uh, they don't see the medical analysis in the report. It means nothing to them. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's unfortunate that it's so because of the brutalization that preceded the fatal incident. Uh, the alleged brutalization. Oh, I, I, <laughs> look, my brother, I, I want to believe that there was some form of brutalization. People <laughs> saw it. Many people saw it. <clears throat> so they claim That's they, not they went dispute. there and beg the police to stop. Yes. They didn't listen there to them. There are many people who saw it. I witnessed. I'm process. surprised nobody used his phone to mm. snap this civil, uh, society, you know, journalism. Mm -hmm. It's all over the world. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. No, it's done. So, it's well, no, citizens, citizen journalism. Citizen right. journalism yeah. You know, it should, it, and these days it's so predictable. Yeah. So I'm surprised nobody did that at that time. Maybe yeah. share Absolutely. anger. Uh -huh. But the truth is that there was that thing. But I'm drawing an extension to the extent that if the death was natural, the brutalization is still punishable. Mm. Exactly. The police personnel who took part in the brutalization must be held accountable yes. for that act because it's not allowed by law. Yeah. When you package the thing properly, then somehow you can mitigate the anger of the people. Yeah. The people now are in a certain mood. They suspect foul play. Right. But we do the analysis. We do that extensions, fine lines of extensions, and still make sure that those policemen who acted unlawfully by applying massive force in dealing with that small fish should be held accountable. Right. Doc Bencher yeah. is suggesting there should be some investigation. If you agree, what form should that investigation take? Yeah, I agree with that because uh, when 
all stakeholders or interested parties are suspicious of each other, then clearly you need a certain independent body uh, to come in, provide the needed uh, expertise, uh, to cross-examine uh, the uh, reports that are coming from other professionals. Then we're going to come to a more definite conclusion. Mm. Uh, because uh, clearly, uh, if, if I was family of the person who has died, I would not, I would not be comfortable with uh, uh, if uh, it is alleged that uh, police physically uh, assaulted the gentleman, and then uh, the report comes out to say something entirely uh, different professionally as it may have been, clearly uh, I'll be apprehensive and I would like to see and believe that what I saw is really the cause of death and not what the uh, medical officers reported. And then the, the two uh, scenarios can be put in a pot and further investigated. So I will come to a definite conclusion. Those who are found to be, to have contributed to uh, the mess uh, will be held accountable. This is what I think. Okay. Thank you very much. And I would play for you to see and hear what uh, Kofi Boache, the regional police commander, has been saying, I mean, just um, partly threatening and warning that if anybody dared to hit the streets as the residents uh, sought to do, they will not be um, spared. And uh, the information <laughs> I'm having also is that <coughs> the AMA is the institution making the, the payments to the victims. So this victim who said he was going to the AMA was going to the right place. Is the AMA that's been making the payments. They've made payments to about 108 families so far. <clears throat> and each family has received uh, 10,000 CDs. I mentioned that earlier, 10,000 CDs. I thought that the 10,000 CDs was uh, just to assist with the funeral arrangements and things. But if that is all they are receiving, then uh, that's also another issue. Um, what, what? I'm not too sure. yeah. It should be the exclusive, should have exclusive jurisdiction over that. Local Why? authorities, a national disaster. I think it should be treated in a very distinct way. Okay. That's my view. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, what do you say about uh, Kofrum? Certainly, I think, uh, Samson, the facts clearly need to be established in the case. Mr. Osei, was, was he chased whilst coming out, out of a public toilet? Was he chased? Did he sustain injuries as a result of uh, 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 the assault on him? An autopsy report says uh, he died from national causes. Do you get up in the morning, you go to the toilet, you're coming out of the toilet, and then you just die of natural causes? Something, as could quickly say, something triggers your dying of natural causes. You don't just, when he got up that morning, was he going to die of natural causes? He clearly wasn't going to die of natural causes. He wasn't just going to fall on the street by himself and die of natural causes. But that's also possible. Well, it, it's, it's, it's not plausible that, you know, you got up, your mother, your mother, the mother says she, this is her child, her precious child. She loves him. And we need to send our condolences to her and our sympathies to her. He gets up, he goes to the public toilet, he comes out, and he's brutalized. Now, if, if, he was beaten, he was tasered. He, he, is this what has induced his death? Clearly, Manchia Palace, everybody else is, is, is right in asking for uh, uh, an investigation so that the, the facts can be established. I don't think that the, the way that the police have approached it is necessarily the way to pacify the, the public. You know, it's not a matter of we're not a police state. The police can't get up and say, if you come out on the street, we're going to stop you blah, 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 etc. Yes, but they began people to also organize right. themselves well, in yeah, a way that a right. is not permitted by law. If they want to demonstrate, then they should go through the public yes. order act. Yes, well, as, there's, yes, there's a way in which you, you then deal with people who have angered, right. clearly. You but know, they were and, just uh, coming out, uh, burning tires on the street, and that's, that's not to be no, allowed. Not, I mean, yes, and if people are breaking the law, you, you deal with them on the matter of, if you break the law, we will deal with you. It's mm -hmm. not a matter of, you know, this macho stance when public anger is at the highest and you are also adding to it, you know. Uh, so I don't believe that this is the way we should go about uh, the business of public order. Mm. You know, uh, if already the situation has broken down, it's a matter of uh, conciliation, it's a matter of, you know, arbitration, it's a matter of, you know, calming down fears. It's not a matter of, right, we're now going to put on our riot act 
a riot uh, uh, helmet, you come on the street, we'll deal with you type of uh, approach. You know, the citizens are there, this is their country, they agree, they have a grievances. Those grievances should be addressed in a way that pacifies and solves the, uh, the issue. So um, if the investigation establishes that the police are found to have made a mistake, firstly in identifying the person, this is not the person that we were chasing. Have we used reasonable force in restraining him? Was he resisting arrest? Uh, you know, all sorts of issues arise. Uh, and on what basis do they then arrest him and take him to hospital? You know, do you just take somebody to hospital? No, he, he fell unconscious. Them? And then right. they took him to, to exactly. the hospital. Exactly. So mm -hmm. you know, the man comes out of the public uh, 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 toilet. He's, he's perfectly healthy. Or even if he's not perfectly healthy, he suddenly just collapses. Out of nowhere, he just collapses. None of it is plausible. So there's ample evidence to suggest that there's a need for all the facts to be established. If the police have made a mistake, those who are responsible for using unreasonable force, those who are, are responsible for making that mistake, should also face the, uh, 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 the law, because we are ruled by law. We should be maturing our democracy so that we are certainly ruled by law. And uh, that's my take on it. Interesting. Now, let's hear uh, Kofi Bwachi, who is the Ashanti Regional Police Commander, what he had to say. Dr. Osei Sampene is concerned. And the question is, what do I even personally gain from in conniving with a doctor or a pathologist to either juice the report or change the report in favor of who? I think anybody thinking like that is quite... Uh, I can't say unscrupulous, but it's not a right-thinking person. The point of the fact is that people die from different ailments. And if you look at the coroner's report, they say the guy has what is called beventricular cardiac dilation, enlargement of the heart, and also congestive heart failure. These are normal things that even happen to footballers. So it's quite unfortunate anybody will think that police will knife with to gain what and i will advise those who are following that line especially the youth in growth room that they should desist from any acts that may lead to further casualties because the police are not going to sit down for them to take the law into their own hands uh, block the streets and do other violent acts i know for a fact that because of this unfortunate incident, there are some unscrupulous interest groups who are instigating them. Some are even journalists trying to make the illusion that police has connived with people without any sensible foundation. So all that I will say is that we express our condolence to the family. We will continue to sympathize with them, but we shall not. We are not going to tolerate any act of violence or indiscipline in the name of this death. Police are going to act swiftly, forcefully, and without any shed of fear in dealing with this growth from issue. And I think this afternoon will be the last time, the last time that anybody will come on the road. Because if you come on the road, we are going to use any force at our disposal to let people know that discipline will prevail in this Ashanti region. All right, so DCOP Kofi Bwachi is the regional police commander for the Ashanti region. And the pictures that you were seeing there, there are portions that were not shown where, uh, where they are burning the tires. You had police officers go there, they pick some of the guys. They, as they approach, people begin to leave and they pick some of the guys as if they wanted to uh, arrest them of sort. And the, the guys they are seeking to arrest are not protesting. And yet, you, you see them beating them up. It's very unfortunate, this whole incident. I know that area very well. In fact, my sister lives only about 300 meters from where the, the incident happened. And it is unfortunate the people of Crowfrome are law-abiding citizens they have always been. And for this incident to happen in their midst is, uh, to say the least, very un uh, unfortunate. And I would like to take this opportunity 
to pay, give my condolences to the bereaved family and to appeal to the people of uh, Kofrom to exercise restraint. Of course, it's very provocative what has happened in Kofrom. Um, the accounts given are sometimes conflicting, but what is etched on my mind is the account that one journalist, radio journalist, who took the trouble to go to the hospital at Manchia to find out what exactly happened. And the, the uh, security guard who actually received the body, the policemen actually dumped the body at the gate of the hospital, not inside the hospital. And this man by himself had to go and bring a wheelbarrow or uh, a oh, wheelchair, mm, okay. a wheelchair, not a stretcher, okay. to actually lift the body on it to, to take it inside. And the account given by the, the, the security guard to this radio uh, uh, journal is very revealing. And when he went in there to, to see the body, they obviously uh, um, all kinds of Trump. bruises and, and so on on the body. And that coincides with the, exactly the account given by members of the family who went to the hospital to see the body. So I'm mystified to hear that um, a pathologist had examined the body in the presence of other members of the family and had found no... Uh, uh, he died of natural cause. Yes. <laughs> and I think that given the circumstance of the conflicting evidence, I will go along with my Rehine suggestion that an independent uh, 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 committee be set up outside the police uh, system to establish the facts and to deal with the people who have caused such a, a, a mess in, in, in Kofu. Interesting. Uh, my, my question to this COP, uh, Kofi Wache, a very good friend of mine, will be this. Imagine, just imagine, that this had happened with a group of civilians and they took the body, put it into the bucket of the car, went and dumped the body at the hospital or properly handed over the body to the hospital. They did it. At this time, where would those individuals have been? Would they have been in their homes and, um, and pretending everything is okay because there is an autopsy report that says nothing has gone wrong? Or those men would have been in your cells, one of your cells, those who, who had any conversation with him. <laughs> they didn't need to touch him. What would have been their situation presently? Would they have been home? or they would have been in one of your cells. I want you to answer that question, particularly because you are also a lawyer, and you clearly don't need to read uh, Henrietta Mensa Bonso's uh, books on criminal law to understand the principle of uh, uh, taking your victim as you find them. We'll be right back and share with you some of the messages that you have sent us, and then go to deal with the matters that have to do with uh, bread and butter. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. This is News File, and it is your most authoritative news analysis show. Some of your messages in here. Uh, Christopher Kelly says, It is sad, and I'm really sad, listening to all the, your panelists this morning, as a policeman, I reserve the rest of my comments for now. Why? Feel free and say what you want to say. And then John Jaja says, the victims of the Goyal flood fire cycle disaster have a legal remedy. They need not wait for AMA to pr pretend to be doing them a favor. Why can't lawyers take some of these cases and do it pro bono? <laughs> um, sorry, but we just don't do our work that way. Somehow, <laughs> sometimes people just feel when people, there's an issue, you can just walk in. In fact, if you try to advertise that you can assist them, it's against our law, and you, the lawyer, will be punished. Um, this one from Bismarck, Bismarck Kweku, says that policing in Ghana is still the Rambo-style policing, which is outdated in the 21st century. Ghana police should... <coughs> Uh, be professional. Kwa, okay, you call yourself Kwa Joe, says, 
in a more serious country, the autopsy report would have captured even a mosquito bite on the body. It is not just a shame, is it not just a shame that an innocent citizen moving freely out from a public uh, place of convenience as the constitution requires <laughs> is assaulted and all the medical reports could conclude on is natural death. But you know, we I haven't think seen the family the report. should sue the police service. We still haven't cited a report, have I'm, you? I've seen it. Oh, yeah, it's, and there's no hint of brutalization. Um, there, there, there is no, on the body, oh. there is no, or trauma. There is no that information. Wow, yes, there is not. incredible. Um, and yeah, you, you heard the doctor, job. he says that the people were there, they took pictures while the process was going on or before the process, and so they should also be able to testify if there was anything I, that went wrong. Sure? It's about his, yes. his professional... Uh, <laughs> what output, are you suggesting? Right. He says he acted professional. professionally, nothing wrong. And uh, uh, Bonti Benjamin says, as we still mourn and pray for the bereaved souls, I pray our leaders implement the fine laws we have to prevent such unfortunate incidents from happening again. Condolences to the families. Then Sese uh, Kole says that government past and present are to blame for the mess that has killed people from time immemorial. Governments are only interested in their comforts. They didn't... Uh, Okay, I didn't get what you, you... You said they didn't huge money importing SUV. Okay, so you mean maybe they use huge money to import SUVs rather than making sure that the ordinary people are well looked after. People in... Okay, elsewhere, this will not happen. This will not happen, thank you. And there are a majority of you who have messages on the... Commander Sugar Factory and the rest will deal with them shortly. Thank you very much. Now, are you a public service worker and need a loan to meet that dire financial need? Here is some good news for you. Apply for a loan from Bank of Africa and you are sure of getting your loan approved within 48 hours. And you enjoy up to five years to repay. You get a discount on fees and ultimately you start repaying the loan after three months. Yes, that's uh, some very good news for you. Well, the Deputy Minister is himself very shocked about this news. It is available <laughs> at Access, uh, at Bank of Africa. <laughs> at Bank of Africa. And maybe, you know, some farmers who have uh, connections to public service persons can also take advantage of it and uh, use it to grow their farms like uh, Doc will expect them to do. So visit any Bank of Africa branch nationwide for enquiries. Bank of Africa, they are strong as a group and close as a partner. If your internet could speak, what would it tell you? It would tell you you are slowing down too much and that you are acting like um, you need four hours to cook instant noodles. <laughs> would they be instant noodles then? So the wait is over. The time is now. A better internet experience is here. Switch to MTN 4G LTE and enjoy a whopping 100% bonus when you bundle. To get started, simply dial star 585 hash, star 585 hash, to check if your device is 4G compatible. And then visit any MTN service center near you with a valid <coughs> ID and make your switch today. Enjoy a better internet experience on Ghana's only 4G network on the go and say hello to the future. Welcome to the new world of MTN. Star Assurance, they have been doing 30 years of making you feel that the dangers that exist in this world are only in your dream world. So why don't you insure with Star Assurance? If you are looking for moto or travel policy, if it is fire, uh, homeowners, contractors, all risk, fire, and allied peril insurance policies, particularly in this flat, that you can uh, say what will happen. Star Assurance is where you get the most. So insure with Star Assurance today and be part of the smiling family. 
you can log on to starsurance.com or visit any of their offices nationwide. You can call them 030-224-0632 and enjoy solid insurance all round. Star Assurance, your solid partner. Now, NIIT, your number one choice in IT education for over 15 years in Ghana is offering new and exciting products and programs for you. Experience the best computer education in a serene learning environment with qualified IT professionals. Their offerings include certificate and diploma courses in software engineering, <coughs> Android programming, PHP, web development, Java programming, hardware and networking, Cisco, Oracle, database, and a lot more. Their programs are relevant for today's job market, so don't be left out. If you are a GHS or SHS candidate, this is some good news for you. 20% discount for all selected programs that you want to uh, undertake at NIIT. You can visit them at NIIT dot uh, NIIT Ghana dot com or call zero two eight nine six seven four seven seven zero NIIT bringing people and computers together successfully. Prosecurity is a special a specially formulated uh, health drink that improves any problems at all that you have with urination. Frequent urination during the day and night, delayed urination, whatever it is, as far as it's about urination, Prostacure tea is what you need. Prostacure from Medimosis Prostate Center. You can locate them at Adenta Barrier, Tema, Ajay Kujo, or Ahinima Kokobing in Kumasi. You can call 020 814 0668 or 0244 and finally just be sure that tonight when you are going to sleep mosquitoes will not disturb you so what you need is the best mosquito coils you can have heaven insecticide mosquito coils those are what you need the heaven insecticide spray they have newly improved uh, products that have a stronger formula for killing mosquitoes and all insects. The new improved having black mosquito coil has a smoke reduction formula, therefore does not give colds, coughs, and catarrh. Uh, again, the improved having black mosquito coil has a new unique sweet scented flowery perfume which gives you a very pleasant experience. So look for having insecticides, gentle, pleasant on humans, and a tough nightmare on insects. Thank you very much. Protect your family with having insecticide spray. <laughs> 